I was eating uh, a lot of pizza. You know, I like pasta. I still was on the pasta regiments and stuff like that. Eating, you know, whoppers and different little things. You know, unhealthy things. But the thing about me, I'm always training. I'm always burning calories. I'm always doing different things. So it really doesn't affect me. But you know, one 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 day I just said, you know what? I've always stood by my my. I always stood by my rule of or my slogan of. Uh, I'd rather be the part than look the part. But, you know, now I want to look the part and be the part as the heavyweight champion of the world. So, uh, I decided to uh, do something that I've been wanting to do a long time ago, get a chef and a nutritionist, and uh, I brought them on board, and they they fulfilled every everything that I wanted of them, and they've done a great job. I done put on a um, couple of pounds, and uh, at first I felt kind of sluggish, you know, a little, lazy with it but you know it's still it's coming along you know it still goes up and down with my weight but I'm, I'm i'm loving the way i feel even my sparring partners you know they're like man you hitting even harder than before and you know i always wear 20 ounce gloves on there even at, when i had my my uh one of the guys i fought before eric molina you're like man what the hell you doing you, you hit harder now you know so you know, it, it hopefully it benefit me from this point on, and uh, we're looking forward to a great fight come come um, Saturday night on Fox. What, what do you like? He talked about him kind of being the perfect opponent. Why? Is it, is he's a, I, I say he's the person perfect opponent for the simple reason. This is a short notice fight. This is like training less lesser than a month. So when we, when you do lesser than a month, you call it short notice and. Um, we needed a uh, we needed a guy that was gonna come and fight. We needed a guy that wasn't gonna come and make excuses, even though he may still make excuses at the end talking about weight. But um, we need a guy that mainly that's gonna come and give my people of Alabama a show and people worldwide that's gonna be be here or that's gonna be watching on, on television a great show. And there's no other guy that we could have that that was gonna give me the attitude of fight that I was looking for out of a fighter than Chris Ariola. That's why we chose him. Trash talk. You didn't even trust. Because weren't even trash talking. Well, you know, it gets to a point sometimes where enough talk. It's enough talk. It's time to uh, to get get to work. I'm, a, you know, as you can see, I'm dressed in a in, in a nice suit, and um, I ain't got time for battery right now. You know, battery talk or, or, or that rubbish stuff. That, that all that. You know, I'm, I feel good. I look good, and I want. You know, when I speak, I wanna I wanna speak fluent so everybody can hear and. You know, sometimes it don't take all that. Sometimes it's different occasions where you have to, you have to, you say what you feel and get all up in their face and stuff like that. But you know, but boxing is a gentleman sport. You know, inside and outside the ring. Right now we're outside of the ring with two classy fighters, and we conduct ourselves in a, in a, in a, in a in an elite level as we are elite fighters. And um, when we get in the ring, we're gonna be like two hungry dogs. You know, getting ready for the last piece of meat that's gonna be served for the end of the night. And then after that, we're gonna dap it back up. And uh, I'm gonna I'm thank you for coming to Alabama after I wrap him in. And, and, and we're gonna go on with our lives. Are you tired at all? I mean, you came off the one kid right back into this one. Are you ready for this kind of be over with so you can get a little break? I am ready for it to be over with, you know. Um, I've been training, uh, training, training can take a toll on you at times. But um, like I said, I'm in love with the sport. So being in love with it, having the love for it, allows me to keep going, keep pushing, you know, and um, knowing that this day will come and it'll be over with soon. Because when you get in the ring, it seems like it go by so fast. And all that hard work you put into it, it was like, well, it was well worth it when you when you had the results or the, the outcome be that you hear those words and still heavyweight champion of the world. It 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 kinds of like it means a lot when you go through the struggle and then you get rewarded in the end. So Well you know, I, I just thank God for the God ability the, the, the God given power that He blessed me with that when I do have the touch of healing, it's a different kind of healing because when I knock them down, if you if you ever been in church, you see when the when the when the when the pastor touch you and you fall down. It may it may sting when you hit, but when you get back up, you feel relieved and you you're cleansed from all your sins. And come 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 Saturday night, July the 16th on Fox, I'm gonna be his pastor, <laughs> and I'm gonna cleanse him of all his sins. One last question: Do you have an idea of which round you may? Uh, you know, I, I figured a long time ago in my earlier uh, in my earlier career that I was no good with prediction. So like I've been telling people, I'm going to let God take the wheel and take me to my destination. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot. Thanks. Okay.